Hello then, uh, my good friends of YouTube. Um, hope you're all well, and uh, thanks yet again for watching my videos and subscribing, and sending me some great comments. Um, you know, it's uh, nice to have uh, some good friends out there that uh, you know share my uh, interests in high voltage. So anyway, let me stop rambling and get on with the show. So. What it is, I've um, I've had to redo this um, transformer because it was the wires inside were getting uh, on the primary around the ferrites were getting quite hot, and I was getting smoke coming out and took the lid off and phew, all this smoke come out. So I redid it all and did it all properly and took my time with it. And it's with the primary core. This was the primary core that was out of there, and. Um, the wires were getting that hot inside, it was actually burning the outer core, hold on, I'm going to have to focus here, there we go, you can see the damage it was doing to it, so what I did, I rewound two of these and stuck them together like this one, but put more wire on, and literally a millimetre from the tops of the plastic dividers of the spool, so, um, I mean this one still works, nothing wrong with this one, but, uh, just need to clean all the oil off it and make another one from it. So that's what I did with that one. My workbench at the moment is so messy. I've got so much going on. <laughs> but there's me uh, super Jacob's ladder that I made. Um, I think it was last week. All the way to the top. I know you've seen this one before, guys. But anyway, I've. Um, sealed all this one up there's no oil that leaks out of this whatsoever now what I did as well was um, I put some you know that two part putty on the underneath of this and filled a lot of the holes up and the holes underneath of this where I've, where I've got the high voltage wire coming through and bolted to the bottom of this terminal and um, I've, I've sealed all the insides of these bolts these brass bolts that go through um, and the outer of this, I got me Dremel and sanded the outer of this all the way around then hot glued it and got it smooth and got it right into the joins of the plastic and uh, then put some insulation tape around it and I've got no oil in there what, um, leaking out whatsoever and the oil comes right up to about right to about there at the top of the container to about, right about there so plenty of oil in there to insulate everything and stop anything from marking over and to stop any corona which is evil if you don't um, insulate anything properly because corona will just get hot and eat anything away and burn wires out and god knows what so and on the ZVS driver I've been trying different um, capacitors uh, to see what the output of my because different um, secondaries on outputs of uh, transformers you normally change the capacitor because the capacitor will make a different change in the output so because the difference when I've, I've noticed this because I've tried different um, transformers on it you know different flyback transformers and god knows what and it, one from another is different output so when I've changed the capacitor I get a better output if that makes any sense anyway I don't mean to ramble on guys but I'm just trying to share the experiences that I have with my um, transformers and flybacks and god knows what so anyway let me show you what this is like just hope to god I don't get no bloody explosions is that on there? See the thing is, it's strange, hold on a minute, sorry to stop again, but the strange thing is right, I've got quite a decent good output out of this, out of this, okay, and yet on here, I think it's because of the size of the, the uh, poles, even though it'll jump, say an inch or something on 25 volts on here, it won't, now that's really strange I find using a screwdriver as well because the output you can feel it even through this screwdriver and this is an insulated screwdriver I've really insulated this and I've used this on my Tesla coil and I've not felt anything through it but with this the output of this transformer I do
Yeah, I'm going to show you something with this actually. Hold on. Let's double check there's nothing in there. This is about 20 volts. Look at that lot. I should really make a proper chicken stick. Just give it a little bit more voltage. Oh, can you hear that? That was just another volt. See, I can hear that on my handle already, the Corona. So I'm just trying to tap this down a bit. I can really hear that through my screwdriver. Straighten those up a little bit. Hold on one sec. Should have done this actually before I did the video. Well, I suppose some of you like watching my videos and watching what I do. Hold on. That's it. Let me try that. I just have to go near it, lot. Crazy. So new wires getting warm. to double check that, that nothing gets warmer because even though there's quite thick wires around the primary ferrite um, they will still get warm I mean the, the unit's not really warm at all do you know the corona actually comes through these through these um, porcelain isolators standoffs or whatever you want to call them even comes through these. I can hold the t the screwdriver, the tip of the screwdriver near it, and the corona comes through. That is just unbelievable the amount of voltage. So I mean, I know something's getting warm because this glue. If you can see it there, there we go. Yeah, this glue will start to go tacky if um, these wires get warm. But these are not the thickness of the wires that are around the around the uh, ferrite. The thickness of the wires is this stuff which is quite thick so how many strands is that two four seven strands so this is quite thick and what I've done as well you see the best thing to do is if you put in some of these in oil okay strip bits off around the as it's wrapped around the ferrite strip a load off because then the oil can get through and cool down the wires and stop the wires from getting too hot in underneath the insulation and then melting and causing a, some sort of short out so what I've done as it was wrapped around say 10 turns on the ferrite like that okay I got my blade and I stripped bits off each one all the way around all the way around the back end of it as well all the way around and stripped it off and then that way it'll keep a lot cooler in the oil because the oil is going to go into the wire and be kept cool from the oil so top tip guys if you're doing that if you think to yourself god even with thick oil uh, thick wire it's still pretty getting melted 
strip some of it off, let the oil get into it, and it'll keep it cool. So let's try this again anyway. And bend these back just a bit more. I've, I actually quite like this, guys. I've made a pretty decent high voltage one. I mean, there's a good one there. That's got a flyback in it, though, but that's a metal one. That, I mean, you've seen that before on some of my previous videos, but that was a bugger to stop anything from the corona getting to this. Because he was touching this and he could feel it. So I had to really, really properly insulate inside there and get the wires through. So that's a good one, but it's just a flyback. I've not made that one, I've made this one. So, oh, let me off. There you go. Not bad, eh? Two inch gap. And how long I can keep that running for. Oh, shit. Until the wires on the capacitor get bloody hot. I hope to God I haven't just damaged one of my transistors there. Because normally, you know when these, you know normally when these come off, when they just go pop like that, for some reason it takes a transistor out. So, hopefully, They'll be all right. I'll just solder that back on and turn my solder iron back on. I'll solder that back on and see how we get on with that. So anyway, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Uh, you know, all of you be safe and uh, try and follow as many safety procedures as you can. You know, uh, don't electrocute yourselves in doing what I do. But um, yeah, I mean, if you guys can do it, you know, go for it. And if you want any tips or anything of how I've done mine give us a shout um, you know I don't mind uh, answering any questions or anything so look after yourself guys and uh, we'll speak again